As I remember, they were right over here to the side. The Roseburg District is one of five spotted owl study areas where biologists spend many hours looking for the owls, which are located by imitating their four-note call. We visit owl sites uh, beginning in April of each year, and when we go into that site, what we're going there for is to find out whether or not there are owls there. Now, we usually know that that's a site where owls were found in the past, so we'll be going in and hooting, imitating the call of the owl, and then they should respond to us. By June, the young are out on the branches sitting around the nest tree, and we'll again feed him some mice in hopes that he'll take that mouse to the young. Once we locate the young, uh, we're able to capture them fairly easily because they sit uh, lower down in the canopy. They can't fly very well. So we're able to capture them using a noose pole and we place a, a colored marker band on one leg and a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service band on the other leg. And hopefully in years to come, as other owl researchers and people are doing other monitoring and inventory work come upon owls in the forest, they may well be finding the ones that we banded and that will give us some information on the movement patterns of these young birds. We pay particular attention when we get into the area, what the habitat looks like. Uh, we take notes on the condition of the habitat and the surroundings around where the owl, owl is located. Uh, we look for pellets or casting, which are castings which are regurgitated by the owl and really provide us with a nice little way to, to uh, categorize his menu. Uh, the pellets or castings are made up of the bones and fur of the animals that it eats that it cannot digest. So we take those apart, reassemble the animal's uh, skeleton, and then we can tell what animal it was. Also gives us an idea of how many of those particular animals it was eating. This is a very important part of it because even though we say we're managing the owl, we're probably going to spend a lot of time managing what it eats. Most all the work we do is geared to try and give us more information about this owl and let us know how we can manage it and uh, work it in with the timber production activities that we uh, do on a daily basis. Information gathered so far indicates that the owl's habitat ranges from large contiguous blocks of older forest to patchwork habitats resulting from timber harvest and historic wildfire. Further study will be necessary to determine how much timber harvest will be compatible with the owl's survival. In the meantime, BLM is diligently working with the Forest Service and other agencies to provide protection for the spotted owl and maintain a viable timber sale program.